This is an introduction of MyroView 2.0 software. MyroView 2.0 software is divided into three parts MyroView Server, MyroView Operator, and MyroView Client. The MyroView 2.0 server is intended to be used as a system managing tool. The MyroView 2.0 server must be turned on prior to starting MyroView Operator or MyroView Client to store the patient data files. MyroView 2.0 server manages file systems, database systems, and storing of the patient data files, and most importantly, the analysis of each patient file after the capsule endoscopy procedure. The status of the analysis for each patient file can be viewed in the Task Manager tab from the server menu, and up to four receivers can be managed simultaneously. MyroView 2.0 operator software is intended to be used for receiver management tool, as well as general administrative purposes. The list mode will show the user the list of patient files to manage, while the receiver mode is used to initialize the receiver, enter patient information, and upload patient data after the capsule procedure. Up to four receivers can be managed simultaneously, and uploading of patient data only takes 15 minutes. MyroView 2.0 client software offers a variety of useful tools and functions to aid the physician in the diagnoses of the patient file. Simplifying the reporting and exporting process compared to the predicate MyroView software and competitive softwares. MyroView Client offers many upgraded functions, which enhances the user's experience in reviewing the patient file. To diagnose the patient file, log on to MyroView Client, and the user will be taken to the List mode, where the list of patients will be sorted in a pre-selected order. Review the patient video on the Review mode. Double-click on the patient file to enter the review mode, or simply highlight the patient file and click on the review mode icon. The playback of the patient video is similar to a normal video playback. Click on the play button to review the patient video, and press again the play button to stop the video. Use the speed bar, which is located below the image, to change the velocity per second of the playback. The range view can be used to identify landmarks and disease pathologies by viewing a total of nine images before and after the main image. The time intervals between each image can be set to the user's preference by right-clicking the control bar or via the preference option under the tool menu. Simply scroll through to see images that were missed and see which images or disease pathologies that are coming ahead. Map view is a collection of images from the procedure, compressed together side by side, ultimately showing the true color of each GI tract. Landmarks can be found in less than a minute and problematic bleeding areas can be seen, alerting the user of potential bleeding areas. The play mode is divided into standard mode, express mode, and SGIB mode. The playback directions can be controlled either by simply clicking on the left or right direction, or by using the back and forth arrow buttons on the keyboard, while the viewing speed can be controlled using the up and down button on the keyboard. SGIB mode shows the images that have a high possibility of bleeding. This mode may assist in finding areas of suspected bleeding. An image can be captured by simply pressing on the Enter button or by double-clicking on an image on the main screen. Landmarks can be found in less than a minute and problematic bleeding areas can be seen, alerting the user of potential bleeding areas. Images can be enhanced to user's preference, and pathologies can be viewed more easily using the nine pre-selected ALICE colors. 
The zoom icon will give the user a full screen of the read to help with easier viewing of the patient file for the user. Simply move the mouse to the bottom of the screen to see the various control buttons. Comparison window can be used to compare predetermined disease pathologies, and individual users can build and collect their own images to build a library of disease pathologies. Capture Findings Summary Box will show captured images and the captured time to help determine the number of images over time or location to help determine most problematic areas of the small bowel. Also, each image pathology comments can be automatically tabulated and divided into corresponding hours. After the reviewing of the patient file, click on the Report Mode. GI Dictionary provides the pathologies that are frequently found within the small bowel. Choose the available disease pathology correlating to the image. If it's not listed, a user may add his or her own pathology. Image Comments box will allow the users to write their comments for the captured image and at the same time to record voice comments for a minimum of 3 seconds to 5 minutes. Complete the remaining tabs, Reason for Referral, Procedure Info and Findings, and Summary and Recommendations. After completing the report, enter the Export Mode to Print Report, Create File, and export the review to Outside on the Export Mode. Click on the Export Mode. At the bottom of the right screen, you will find the following icons. Click on the icon Print to print out the report for review. Click on the icon Preview to preview the report. At the top of the right screen will appear four icons. The users can select one icon, the draft report, three images, six images, or nine images per page. Click on the icon Save as PDF to save the report as a PDF file. The user can print out the report and or save the report to PDF file. Click on the icon Export Review. Export review data only without the video. Review data is MyReview's own video format, which contains captured images and comments by the user. Click on the icon Send to PAX to send selected captured images to PAX system via DICOM sender. This requires registration. Click on the icon Export XMIF to export captured images as XMIF, Exchangeable Medical Information Format. This allows physicians to share images of disease pathologies with other physicians without sending the patient's private information. Click on the icon Export Captured Images to export captured images as Image, Video, or Miro Video. Miro Video is the video format for Miro View. A window will appear like below. Select the file type to export and change the desired file location on the selected folder and click the OK button. A window will appear with a progress bar. Click on the icon Export Segment to export segment as Video, Miro Video. Select the segments on the time bar to export. If no segment is selected, the Export Segment button to export segments will be disabled. Click on the icon Export Case as Video to export the entire file as Video or Miro Video. For detailed usage of MyroCam, please refer to MyroCam User Manual. Thank you.